I am Nitesh Prasan from LabVIEW and Multisim. It is sixth number video, sorry, fifth number video of NI Flex Logger tutorial. In this uh, session, we will learn how can we acquire the data and how can we display the data in a uh, numeric indicator. Okay. After that, next video, we will see how can we display the data on our graph. So let's start today's session. It is your flex logger interface. When you will open your flex logger interface, then you will get an interface like this. Now here, I am going to create a project. Click and create a project. So it will take few seconds to launch. Okay. Now it is my flex logger working environment. Here I can configure. I can completely configure my flex logger and. I can configure uh, uh, my flex logger and acquire the data. When the loading project process will complete, then will then I will show you how can we uh, configure. Now you can see in the NIMAX, I have this hardware simulated 9174, 9219, which is uh, temperature module, 9215 voltage module, 9232 uh, sound and vibration module, which you can see here. It is my 9174 CDEC module has been configured inside this four. Uh, here you can see four uh, uh, counters are available, which I am going to minimize. Now here I am going to measure. Uh, now you can see there is a 9213 temperature uh, module, 9215 voltage module, 9232 vibration module. So in this temperature module here, I am going to double click open just done now you now here I am going to configure my channel so here I am going to configure my single channel here so for that click here when you will click it will open and the measurement physical measurement type will be a temperature okay now the sensor class will be a thermocouple and you can press done here now it's configuring the data now it's reading the data okay here now here i am coming to this i am coming to this uh c series voltage input module here i am going to configure this voltage input module so for that cl double click here come into the here i am going to select the voltage volt one volt one the name will be volt one here the name will be volt one input will be the measurement type will be the voltage and sensor sensor type will be a voltage press it okay here you can see the volt now here i am going to double click and here the temperature size will be the acceleration a double c acceleration okay acceleration physical measurement sorry sorry uh acceleration the physical measurement will be a acceleration and the sensor type is the iepe iepe Okay, and the output is the range is gra gravity. Okay, so, oh, yes, yes, G, G gravity. Press it. Now you can see three channel has been configured here. Three channel has been configured here, and one is the voltage, one is the equation, and one is the per temperature. Now we now let's see how can we display this data. How can we display the data uh, in our uh, digital display in our unit display so for that come into the screen here if you want to see the data in the screen so click here and take a numeric indicator in this numeric indicator here i am going to select a slot one and this channel what is this c deck slot one in c deck slot one nine two nine two one three and it is present in the module mod one ai zero so it will give me a ai zero means temperature data it will give me a temperature data, right? It's giving me a temperature data. Now again, take here, here and place it. When you will place here, you it will again ask you which, okay, where, uh, for, sorry, it will again ask you to choose. So here I'm going to select voltage. So it is giving me the voltage value, right? And now again, I can click here 
here i can click here and i can take voltage sorry acceleration now it's showing me the acceleration now you can see this data we are able to see our system is reading this three data a voltage temperature and acceleration value so okay we know very well it is a virtual data but still it's working still it's working right in this way you can <laughs> In this way, as you can uh, read your data, in, you can read your data and display. Here, you can configure your channel. Channel specification I had configured, and now I can read my data here. I can display my data using this channel. Here, the run means here. If I will click the run, test run, so I will get. Uh, the data and it will create a TDMS file for me. Now you can see it's uh, near about 15 seconds. Okay, it, it is second. You can acquire and store the long data for a long time. Here I am going to stop. Mm -hmm. So thank you for watching this video. In the next video, I will show you how can we connect our, how can we acquire the data through the graph. Okay.